Hello everyone, my name is Swamp, and if you have been a follower of this channel for, I, I don't know when I first brought this up, but uh, you are familiar with the expression, have TikTok get fired. Well, we finally have a story that proves my point. <laughs> it's, it's no longer just a pipe dream of mine that if you have TikTok, you get fired. This is really great in any area that you have skin laxities. This is plastic surgeon Dr. Katherine Grawi. She likes to film her surgeries and post them on TikTok, sometimes even live streaming procedures. Tonight, she's had her license to practice revoked. Don't just spend me and my man. Spend a whole lot of chops on your ass. Best known as Dr. Roxy to her over 800,000 social media followers. You're telling me that a doctor that was doing this kind of stuff was not super great at her job. <laughs> I am shocked. Then again, I have made a live stream completely dedicated to the fact that this is true. <laughs> TikTok Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen this coming for a long time. Have TikTok get fired social media followers she would even do dance numbers in her operating room no way she do dance numbers in a hearing in front of the ohio state medical board grawi said she posted the videos to teach people about plastic surgery oh. and sometimes i did silly or fun videos simply to make people smile in this world which is often negative and difficult to navigate. referencing one liposuction yeah anyone who says something like that we're here because you've damaged people's bodies and lives. <laughs> and I just wanted to make people smile in this dark world. How the hell did you get through medical school, lady? <laughs> I have genuine questions about wherever you got... <laughs> where, where, whoever approved you to work in this hospital. and I've, I've got a lot of questions surgery she live streamed the board wrote your attention to the camera meant at those moments you were not looking at the patient and called her practice a danger of immediate and serious harm to the public three of her patients sought emergency medical attention after their surgeries uh, can you imagine I, I i have a hard time believing that was even allowed on tiktok in the first place she was live streaming and doing tiktok stuff during surgeries <laughs> not just in between surgeries during the surgery can you imagine you get out of surgery <laughs> and one of your family members or something says you're gonna want to see this oh really what's that your doctor filmed the surgery oh what like for educational purposes no um she's on tiktok dancing during your surgery <laughs> yeah see that that's you right there on the table we might want to go see another doctor <laughs> Jeez. reporting skin tears infections and a perforated bowel according to medical board records she has single-handedly forever changed the lives of at least three people Grawi and her lawyer have not responded to nbc news's request for comment the decision comes after five years of warnings from the state medical board. The lack of professionalism and poor judgment in delegating responsibilities to others appears to have significantly contributed to her falling below the standards of care. The board, you know, we're we're supposed to believe that no reasonable adults can't have uh, TikToks and do silly dances on social media for likes and clicks, and it's just a fun little side thing. It does. It's not actually indicative of any of what kind of person they are. How stupid. <laughs> what a stupid world we live in. Wow. I am just shocked that the lady who was doing TikToks, even if she wasn't filming or live streaming during surgeries, even if she wasn't doing that, just the fact that she's doing TikTok dance trends and stuff in the hospital. Actually, that's what I'm going to do from now on. Whenever I need to see a doctor, I'm going to look and see if they have a TikTok account. And then make sure to stay the hell away from them. <laughs> but how are we... Sp we're supposed to pretend like this isn't a red flag I anyway? Good lord, man. Good lord.
Ford temporarily suspended her license last year following patient complaints that they were injured after surgery. Mary Jenkins successfully sued Graue in 2019 after the tissue of her breast reconstruction died, telling our Columbus affiliate WCMH. It'll never go away because every time we look down and we see a scar, we're going to remember. Those scars having a lasting impact. There's now also a Facebook group with more than 2,000 members, many of them alleging that they were also harmed by Dr. Grawe. In addition to losing her license, the plastic surgeon was ordered to pay a fine of $4,500, and there still is the possibility that she could appeal the board's decision. So if you didn't learn this enough during COVID, stay away from dancing metal, medical professionals. <laughs> They are not to be trusted. I mean, really anybody. Anyone who's supposed to be a professional in their field and has a TikTok account. Well, um, okay. Well, I, I guess you could have an educational TikTok. But that's just... You're, you're stretching it. You're playing with fire. <laughs> I think it's better to just say, have TikTok get fired. What more do you need? <laughs> Anyway, my name is Swamp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and leave a comment saying, well, maybe if she live streamed a surgery for me, it could increase my followers. So I'd be willing to deal with dead tissue and infections and life altering harm for followers, man, for the clout. For that sweet, sweet ad revenue that I can get from the followers. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.